my driver is the, 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 the many, many Swedes who are engaged in civil society. We are, we are no more than nine million Swedes and out of the nine, six are members of civil, civil society organizations. 1.7 million people do volunteer work every week. And we, there is as much as 150 Swedes that are employed in the non-governmental organizations. And I, I, my drive is to make them feel that they are important and that they are counted for. And I really want them to, to feel that they are an important part of our joint society. In Sweden, we tend to mix up government with society. To me, it's very important, and that's one of, of the goals for my work with this, to, to really state that the society is larger than the government and that the society comes first and, and that the, the, the people who, who build up the society together with the government really should feel and be important. If you, if you look at it globally, I, I think it's very important to remember that in a huge part of the world there is still not the freedom to assembly or to, to make your voice heard. And, and though we passed the, 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 the time, the, the last decades have seen a lot of progress, we can also see a backlash. For instance, in Russia there are now non-governmental organizations that are considered being foreign agents. I mean, this is, this is a tendency or, 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 a, or a development that, that we really must stop and, 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 and turn. Looking at Sweden, I think the most important thing is to, to uh, make it easier for Swedish non-governmental organizations to be part, to be service providers. A lot of them are now competing in, in public procurements to, to, to try to be, be one uh, to deliver service, social services and, and we have some, we have a job to do there to make it easier for them. A lot of them. I've been part to many of them. I sing in a choir, I do sports, I'm in the, active in a political party, I'm a member of the Save the Children. I do a lot of things within the, that inspires me. But, but I really are inspired of the Swedish women's shelter movement because they are a very good uh, example of how, how the civil society find, find and try, try to solve a, a problem that the rest of us doesn't really see or, or, or are not able to, to cope with. And at the same time as they provide shelter and, and help individual women, they also voice uh, their political, they, they, they get, have a political agenda and they, they, so they do service but they also voice and, 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 and put words on a problem that over the past decades really have, have entered the political scene in Sweden and now they are not alone anymore in, in, in helping out in the, when it comes to domestic violence. The politicians and, and the government and the municipalities are there as well now. So they are really inspiring. I mean, I, 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 in 2040, I really hope we have dealt on a global level with, with the freedom of speech, or freedom to assembly, and, and that we all over the world can see a flourishing uh, civil society. And when it comes to Sweden, I really hope that we, we can get closer to what you here in Germany can provide as when it comes to services and being part of, of, of the welfare society. In, in, and, and then there we really have a job to do in Sweden. But in 2040, there, there will be, have been a real change. <laughs>